In this tutorial, I'll guide you through the process of installing a game configuration for GTA 5. A game config is essential to ensure proper functioning of the game, especially when you're installing new DLCs or adding car mods. Without installing a game config, your GTA might encounter issues such as failing to load the story mode. Therefore, it is crucial to have a game config installed in order to ensure smooth gameplay without crashing. The first step is downloading the game config from the GTA 5 mod website. You can find a direct link to this website in the description of this video. So once you're on the website, you're going to go ahead and download the game config. Simply click on the download, then download again and save it to a folder. You're also going to need to download some additional stuff which is going to help us to prevent the game from crashing when we're installing mods. Pack file limit adjuster and we're also going to need to download heap adjuster. Script V is necessary for the installation of any mod within the game so we need to download that as well. Finally, we need to download OpenIV. Once we have all 5 of them downloaded, we're going to start off by installing the OpenIV. OpenIV is very simple to install, all you need to do is follow along with the prompt and click continue. Once it's finished installing, it's going to create a shortcut on your desktop, you're going to double click on it. It's going to open up a prompt which is going to look something like this. You're going to go down to GTA 5, then go to Windows. Now you're going to need to locate your main game directory where you have GTA 5 installed. I'm using Steam to play my GTA, so what I'm going to do is go to Browse. It is located in my D drive, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and then GTA 5. The main game directory is anywhere that you have the GTA 5 EXE. So once it's found the GTA 5 EXE, it's going to say successfully. It's going to be green, so I'll click continue, then continue. It's going to do some encryptions and after that it's going to be fully installed. Once it's fully installed, it's going to look something like this. The first thing that I suggest that you do is go over to your left side where you see ASI Manager, click on it and then you're going to go ahead and install all three of these options. With that done, we're now going to go back to our GTA 5 main game directory. Again, I'm using the one on Steam so I'm going to go to GTA 5, right click, go to Manage and Browse Local Files. This folder is my GTA 5 main game directory. As you can see, I have my exe here. That means this is the main game directory. What you're going to do when you're in the main game directory is that you're going to create a folder called mod, M-O-D-S, all common letters. Then you're going to go ahead and copy your updates and go into the mod folder and you're going to paste it here. The reason why we want to do this is because we're going to use this update to install the mods instead of the one that is out here. So if something goes wrong, all you need to do is just delete the mods folder and your game will be good. Now that you've created your mods folder, what you need to do is copy the files that you downloaded into the main game directory for GTA. So again, let's go back to the files that we downloaded, which is script V, heap adjuster, pack file limit adjuster and the game config. So I'm going to be using 7-zip to extract the contents of the zip file. So I'm going to highlight all of them, right click, go to show more, go to zip, 7-zip and extract to. It's going to be extracted and each of them are going to have their own folders. So the first one that we're going to be copying into the main game directory is scriptv. So we're going to go into scriptv, then go into bin and you're going to see two DLL files, which is the input and script V. You're going to copy both of them into the main game directory. You're going to go into a pack file limit adjuster. And you're going to copy everything except for the text file into the main game directory. You're going to go into heap adjuster and you're going to copy everything into the main game directory. Now, all that's left to install is the game configuration. If we go into the folder, then go into GTA 5 version 31, then go into four more mods, you're going to see that we have a lot of different options depending on how much traffic and PEDs that you want. I want a lot so I'm going to go 5x traffic and 5x PEDs. Depending on your system, you can go the same amount or you can choose a smaller amount. So I'm going to go into the folder and you're going to see that I can see my game configs right here. What we need to do is copy this game config into OpenIV and then we'll finish the installation. So we're going to go to OpenIV. You're going to go into mods 
update update.rpf we're going to close this commons data and this is where the game config is located right here but before we can do anything to it we have to enable editing mode so you're going to go up to edit right here edit mode click on it and then press yes we're going to right click on configs and we're going to go ahead and delete it then we're going to go ahead and grab this one from the config that we downloaded and we're going to drag it into OpenIV. Now as you can see, the game config has been installed. So after that, you can go ahead and close out of everything and pretty much you have installed your game configs, your heap adjuster and your pack file adjuster. This will prevent your game from crashing whenever you install a new DLC or when you install a car mod.